Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about box fill calculations. And I know, I know that you guys know, that you guys don't do a lot of box fill calculations on the job. So as an electrician myself and as somebody that teaches and gets people ready for tests, I know that you don't take the time to go to 314.16 and figure things out unless you're in the testing thing. Now, that's probably not everybody, but the majority of electricians are pulling the least amount of wire they can to an enclosure so that they can fit a device on. Well, there's codes that we have to abide by and inspectors should be checking, but that would take forever if they did that on every single job. Um, so I know that it's something that you don't really do that often, but it's really important. And especially when you're gonna go take a test, I'm gonna give you some visual applications on uh, what is a hickey? What is an internal clamp? Uh, what constitutes as a device? Those are the type of things I'm gonna to talk to you about today. And stay tuned, I hope you guys like this video. Okay, so here we are. You've got your code book. You're at 314.16B. 314.16B is going to give you the cubic inches of a conductor. So this is a number 8 conductor. If I go to 314.16B and I look up a number 8, that's going to tell me this thing is 3 cubic inches. Okay? Um, and then, uh, so what does that mean to me uh, when I'm sizing a box? Okay, well, I have a couple boxes here. 314.16B2 says that internal clamps count as one when you have one or more. So listen to how I said that. Internal clamps count as one when you have one or more. That does not say internal clamps count for each, each of them count as one. So let's say this guy right here, you see you have knockouts on all four sides of this octagon box. If I had uh, internal clamp on this side and this side as well, it still would count as one. I have two, it counts as one. I have one, it counts as one. So if you have internal clamps, it counts as one. So this number three, these would count as one or as three. Okay. Now, uh, 314.16 uh, B3 talks about intern or talks about hickeys. This is a hickey. A lot of you guys don't know what that is. And how that works is uh, that hickey gets a little thread, it goes in the back of the box uh, into that knockout and you would take that knockout out and it has a, a threaded piece that this hickey would twist to. I couldn't find any um, and I twisted that on and then it has a threaded rod that can go through there and twist on it would stick out and then you could hang your light from that twisted rod that sticks out. That, that uh, twisted rod or that mounting stem uh, does not count as anything. The hickey counts as one of the largest conductor. So this is a number eight. It counts as three. This is a number 10. It counts as 2.5. And then this is a number 12. And it would count as 2.25. So in this case, if I were to have all three of these wires inside my box, um, they would count as they would count as the large, like the internal hickeys would count as a number eight and number three, okay, the largest conductor. So that's going to be found in 314.16B, B2 for these, and then B3 for these. B4 is going to be talking about devices. Each device or yoke, okay, counts as um, two of the cubic value that is landed to the device. Not the largest in the box, but the largest in that's landed on the device. So if I had that number eight, that number 12, and that number 10, and I had three different devices, each one would count as, the, as two, uh, a, a two volume of the, the conductor landed, not in the box. So it can be a little bit confusing there. And this counts as one device, even though it has two different, uh, two different little plug-in spots, Ooh, as I drop that, two different plug-in spots that counts as one device or one strap, and this obviously counts as one. If you had a yoke that only had one, then that would still count as a volume of two, okay? Um, and that's going to be found in 314.16b4. Now, 314.16b5 talks about these bad boys right here, equipment grounding conductors, okay? Ooh, that one is not an equipment grounding conductor, right here. 314.16b B5 uh, talks about the, the volume fill of your grounds. So you would have the largest ground. Now these are all number 12s. Um, uh, if you had a number eight ground in or a number 
uh, number 10 ground in there, it would count, these all count as a volume of one. Now in the 2020 code book, it changes and it says, and then I don't really care for this code, it just, somebody had a little bit more time on their hands and said, hey, we gotta account for all the, all the grounds. Now I agree they should account for the grounds, uh, but a quarter volume after four, the guys are already are not doing the box fill calculations. Um, so with that being said, if this was a 10 and this was a 12 and this was a 14, this would all count as a volume of that number uh, 10, okay? Um, now, it would count as a volume of one number 10. Now, the minute you get over four, then that fifth, sixth, sixth there, they take a quarter volume of the cubic inches of whatever size uh, that would be. So, I hope that helps you. This is an internal, this is the hickey, it counts as one, internal clamps, all count as one devices they count as two of the volume so if I had number eight slanted on that sucker uh, then that would be um, that would be uh, a, that would be six because they count as two and the eights are a, th are a volume count of three cubic inches so that would be six cubic inches here and this say I had this box this device on this box obviously we'd have a mud ring and probably be square but just for an example if I had this guy on here and I had number eights, um, I would have a volume of six for this guy, a volume of three here, so that makes nine, and another volume of three for how many of our, or three for how many of our conductors would hit it. And I would just add those up, and that would be my cubic inch box. Then you would go to 314.16a, uh, there's a table there, and then you could look up the size uh, boxes. The, you know, this is a, an octagon box, they have square boxes, they have ha handy boxes, all those things you could pick what size box you want. So when you go to the parts store and you're looking and you see there's two similar boxes, one has internal clamps, one doesn't, maybe if you're not doing box fill calculations that much, don't buy the ones with internal clamps because they do take have a volume added to them uh, to keep your code compliant. So I hope that helps you guys as you get ready for your test and I hope that uh, that in some way these little videos help you in your, your journey on day to day being an electrician and getting ready for your journeyman test and, and stuff of that nature. Have a good day and thank you guys for watching.